findings from the research that Managing Partners Group has recently conducted from institutional investors is that 73% expect there to be a hard Brexit. Of that 73%, 27% expect there to be a very hard Brexit indeed. Findings from the survey indicated that 44% expect passporting to continue post-Brexit. I personally feel that this is um, less likely to occur as other EEA member states cannot currently passport. The EEA member states in question in particular are Switzerland, Liechtenstein and Norway and therefore there's an important need for all financial institutions relying on business from Europe to establish a secondary base somewhere in the EU. Our survey indicated that 86% of the respondents felt that financial services companies in the UK will look to establishing a secondary entity somewhere in Europe post-Brexit. I think Malta will certainly attract more financial services companies post-Brexit. And indeed, in the lead up to Brexit, it's, it's interesting to see increased activity in this sector already. Managing Partners Group decided to establish an office in Malta in 2015 with a view to creating a business in the heart of Europe that could offer capital market services and alternative investment management services to institutions and to small to medium sized enterprises looking to use our services inside the European Union. Malta's membership of the European Union is significant but the fact that it's also a member of the Commonwealth is hugely important. The Commonwealth represents a citizenship of 2.2 billion people. The financial services sector in the Commonwealth is extremely important. 70% of the respondents regarded financial services as one of the top three sectors. This is a very good opportunity for Malta. 73% of respondents already stated that they feel that Malta is a very important financial services centre. It was very important for MPG to elect to become a diamond sponsor for the Finance Malta Conference in 2017. It's an annual conference which is an ideal forum for businesses from all parts of the European Union, including the UK, to visit Malta and identify the benefits of a very strong financial centre.